oh, we clean toilets, we do snow, we clean trash, and you get in these rooms, and there's folks with MBAs, there's folks who, who make 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year in your company doing yeah. the same thing me and you do, just, just yeah. at a higher level. So, yeah. Trash is trash, or toilet is a toilet. They, yeah. they just kind of go after the bigger toilets. We make them feel like they're part of the family. Um, we train well and we pay well. For us, it's cleaning and culture. Headed to the top, they ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Oh, I'm flashing for. I'm on my grind, not no more. What's up, y'all? It's AJ Simmons here, the cleaning business goat and founder of Clean Biz Network. And welcome back to another episode of the Clean Biz Network podcast. Today's guest is someone who started his cleaning business almost nine years ago, y'all. I saw him on IG as an up and coming cleaning uh, business coach. And I started to reach out to him, but actually, he actually reached out to me first. And so I was excited that he did, and I had to get him on here. So without further ado, please welcome the president of RNS Facility Services. Mr. Kendall Mills. What's good, Kendall? Welcome. What's, what's going on, AJ? Hey, ain't Thank too much. Well, I see. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Pleasure. Absolutely. Hey, look, so I see you got Kendall Wiz here as well as on IG. So you prefer Kendall Wiz? You know what What it is, is my first name is Kendall, okay. last name Mills. All my friends and family call me Wiz, nicknamed since I had a little kid. So, right. you know, either way is either way is good. So, you know, we're gonna keep it on brand then. Where is it? Yeah, is? Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, bro. So, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the podcast, but the question we always started off with is if you don't mind sharing about roughly where you are as far as revenue goes with your cleaning company. So, roughly, obviously, 2023, we did um over seven figures in wow. 2023. Okay, so, you okay. Know, congrats on that. Let me let me see if I can yeah. get some applause going on here because that deserves an applause. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so before we go ahead and jump into how exactly you built to that point, let's just rewind a little bit and let me just ask, who is Wiz? Um, you know, obviously, well, not obviously, I'm you know, born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, up in you know, the way up east, um, about two and a half, three hours from New York. Been doing business entrepreneurship mindset since I was probably in middle school. You know what I'm saying? I was selling, you know, lollipop, you know, blow pops for, you know, buying them for 10 cents. Taking them to school, selling them for fifty cent to a dollar. Now and later, it's buying them for a quarter, or ten cent. You know, school for a dollar, right? So I mean, you know, I had, I done had several businesses. Um, I have a crazy. I have a, a twenty-three year old daughter, my bride and joy, and I also have a two year old son. So my two year old son kind of gave me my, my, that second um, kick in the butt as far as is go time, right? So they will, you know both raised differently obviously i'm on the grind struggling with my um 20 you know 20 my daughter where my two-year-old has a little bit more you know he has a little bit more he sees life a little more different now right um living in you know living in country suburbs still in mass but suburbs doing certain certain things that i couldn't do with my daughter um so for me it's it's definitely a um fatherhood is probably the, the hardest but it's the best thing yeah. Um, it keeps me going. It keeps me grinding. It keeps me focused. It keeps me, you know, you know, the, the whole thing, like your why, like my why is my, you know, it's my, my family. Definitely. That's okay. Yeah. That's what's up, bro. Now I want to ask you this. Why start a cleaning business? Ooh, good question. Um, and it's okay. This is a story. So, Cause again, went to, you know, from Boston, mom's a lawyer. Yeah. Mom was an activist. She was a lawyer activist, still, you know, kind of is activist side. Okay. Um, went to college down south, uh, down, you know, HBCU. And you couldn't tell me that I was going to, you know, be cleaning toilets for a living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, if you gave me a hundred businesses, that wasn't going to be one. Right? <laughs> right. So, but again, it was a blessing because, again, I've had probably half a dozen, I, again, we had a restaurant. Trucking companies. I had a restaurant I had for a few years when I was young, young in college. T-shirt business. I, I was a concert promoter. Like you name it. But what I what what I see now is I was the same person doing all those things and failing. And I was blaming right. the business. Oh, right. No, this don't work because 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 the restaurant season is what it's a full, 
this don't work because not knowing it was the same BS, my, my, my baggage yeah. going to each business, right? I did MLM and it's crazy because MLM probably didn't work out for me, but MLM was the first time with self-development was taught. Yes. Like, you know, it was, you know, I, I read books, you know, but MLM, like I was going, I was going to sleep with my headphones on. Yep. With, like books in my head, like just going to sleep like that, practicing yep. my, my pitch and how I spoke and how I talked. And it was crazy because even though it didn't work out, that was that was like the jump start of me saying, yo, it's it's me. Like any of those businesses was a any re restaurant, trucking, t-shirt. They were they were they were all million dollar companies by themselves. So it's so really the common denominator was me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So how I started start was funny. My 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 mom's it was one winter eight, nine years ago, she's looking outside of who's who was doing the um, snow plowing in, you know, in her community, our community. And she realized that it wasn't any companies that were that looked like us or from our community or from our area. They were all from like suburbs and not looking like us. So crazy that next year I'm working a full time job at that time for the for the for the state. I was crazy. I was working for um, yeah for the state at that time. Making decent money, still, you know, check, check the check, still, but decent money. I had, ins I had insurance and time off and uh, <laughs> 401k. I had a daughter, so I had to like, you know, I can't keep playing with these businesses. I got to get me some real, I know, some real stuff. Right. So um, she's like, out, so she's like, yo, y'all need to start. My brother and myself, we're, we're a year apart, raised by a single mother, whatever, great, great woman, right? Um, start something, you know, start a business. And yeah. we first started snow removal landscaping because again you go around our area our inner city and it was companies not looking like us that had these major contracts like right. it was crazy right so that next final year we got an LOC and started the business it was that simple mm -hmm. right so first three years we were just doing landscaping snow removal like for the you know for the city for the, for the area started off getting a little small stuff going you know going on like little software um apps getting like little jobs or, you know yeah. On the weekends and the evenings after work, then probably by our, probably our second or third year, we got our first six-figure contract, and mm. I, it was um, it was snow because again, even even then, our mindset wasn't cleaning. It was right. like, cleaning wasn't even. It was it was like okay, this is this is the main work. Let's just do some great do it ourselves. <laughs> by the third or fourth year, we actually bought a, a cleaning company. Okay. Um, so we got in that. So it was a lady who was, who was probably in her 60s, been doing it alone. She was 25 years in the business. Um, she was mostly doing post construction, but still, like, she was just tired. She was doing it alone. Yeah. So we bought her company and we got in, didn't realize, yo, this cleaning business is, is, is serious. Like, this can yeah. be something. And it was the door, it was like the, 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 our intro to get other stuff. Like, say, right. you know, our cleaning was the intro, but then, then we, if their cleaning contract, then their snow, then their yep. handyman service, then their floor, then the windows, and then so it just made sense for us to focus on the cleaning because it's one is all year round; it's not seasonal, right? Right, right. and that's the that's like the cleaning is like the it's the it's the um I call you know it's the painkiller with folks snow snow yeah. is three snow here is three months, yeah. uh, landscaping is about three or four months, but cleaning is all year round. So for yeah. us, so for us, it sounds crazy, but it was for it was it was really for a purpose. It was because she wanted because she's an activist. So our thinking was people that, that look like us were mm -hmm. not getting these the, the 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 big contracts. Right. So our our business model at that time was we we're able to get in these rooms, you know, our contracts, our mom's contracts, any contacts, excuse me, so we can get in the rooms. Yeah. Get in these rooms. They were all folks that look, they look like me and you, right? right. In these contracts, folks, and, and it's crazy because folks think, oh, we clean toilets, we do snow, we clean trash, and you get in these rooms, and there's folks with MBAs, there's folks who, who make 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year in their company doing yeah. the same thing me and you do, just, just yeah. at a higher level. So, yep. Trash is trash, or toilets are toilet. They, yeah. they just kind of go after the bigger toilets. Right. right? <laughs> so, right. You know what I'm saying? So for us, like, you know what? We can get in the room. 
that we can sub didn't know it's called sub you know subbing then but we can partner with other smaller woman-owned black-owned hispanic-owned companies mm-hmm. and give them the work so because yeah. they weren't able to get any they didn't they were scared to get in these rooms they didn't know who to go to so they would stay in their community and get these smaller size contracts not knowing it's a different game out there that we ain't playing that, that we weren't playing it well we're still not playing it where we should be but you know with that back then where i'm from in boston we definitely weren't playing it <laughs> right as as, yeah definitely right. weren't playing it so that's okay. how the whole thing came about as far as us starting our starting our next facility services I love it. Now, yeah. I'll, so you said you you offer different services. I even saw in my notes that in addition to the snow removal and the, the lawn care, you also do uh, security services. Yeah. So I guess yeah. my, my big question, I'm going to go a little bit different on it when I ask you this, because typically what I'll ask people when they got multiple building services, I'll say, well, how did you expand to that? Yeah. Instead, for you, I want to ask, how do you like staff for that? How does one expand in that? So you start in one niche and then you got, you know, you got, let's just say for our perspective, because typically people on my channel are going to start off in the cleaning first. You did the kind mm-hmm. of the reverse, but they will start off in the cleaning and they say, you know what, let's offer some security service. Let's offer some snow removal, right? Are we using the same employees to do all of these things and cross training them? Or are we hiring people for these particular niches? How are you doing that? Particular, so our, so our cleaning, so the cleaning business side of it, it's probably like 75 um, percent w, W2s, 25% to 99. So the cleaning part of it. For the other services, it's like 95% we sub them out, subcontracted. So snow removal company, they might just do snow, landscaping, and maybe some maintenance work. Um, for the, um, what do you call it? Security business, it was just us. It was just, it was, it was this client we had. We, we already had a client and they were looking to pay 10, 15,000 for this church that we were cleaning they were looking you know and they had like little homeless people homeless folks in, in front of the church so during the events they wanted to hire a cleaning uh security company and we're like yo rns facility services is now rns security it's a matter of folks that we already have a we already have a list of people that need work need jobs or work work before they can stand in there they can sit in their car out in front of the church every half hour 30 minutes do a walk through of the church and it wasn't, I'm saying it's not, you know, it's not in the high crime area. It's really in the uppity area. So it ain't going to be too much crime there. It ain't going to be too much craziness. So this made too much sense for us not to do that. Right. Uh, most of these companies, they would rather deal with one company than having to deal with a dozen different companies. One company for different for, you know, for the roofing and for the gutters and for everything else. So they'd rather deal with one company if they can one person if they can to deal with multiple services so it's a matter of us we do a lot of sub work for the for the services outside of cleaning got it okay yeah now a lot of people telling me aj well i want to do that too i want to create a system i want to hire people but nobody want to work so what is kendall doing to get these people to keep working (laughs) i don't even i mean i tell folks oh yeah it's a matter of Folks want to work, but they want to be paid for their work, yeah. right? And our business model is a little different. Our business model, we might do seven figures, but we do off less than eight contracts, mm. right? So we don't, our thing, with we don't want 30, 40 contracts because we really, you know, our our, our, our lifestyle, my lifestyle is, is what it is. I don't want it to be running around different, yeah. whatever, whatever, right? Yeah. So... For us, we've done, we, we pay well. So for example, for us, if our, I know for our city, um, minimum wage might be $15, $16 in Boston. Mm-hmm. No one, as far, for, as far as the cleaning the cleaning side, no one makes less than $20 an hour. That's yeah. far as, you know, $20 an hour, right? So it's cleaning, for us, it's cleaning and culture, okay. right? It's cleaning and culture. Like we, bonuses, we make them feel like they're part of the family. Um, we train well. And we pay well, like we do, like we go hold like, um, you know, hiring days at our office. We'll do for us. Our secret is not really to go after one person. We go Mm -hmm. after organizations that might have 50 people. This, you know, might be, I don't know. It might be um, Spanish females of Boston group. Yeah. (laughs) Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we have 40 people. They'll send us 10 people out of that 10. We'll hire three. Okay. Out of that three, 
one or two is going to be an amazing worker. Got you. I like that. So you yeah. basically, you got great pools to pull from. Pool. So probably yeah. people need to look at, well, where are you looking to get your people? Since you say yeah. nobody want to work, well, maybe you're looking in the wrong place. That's what exactly. I sound like I get from that. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you said something key right there. This wasn't on my questions list, but since you said it, I want to see if I can push the envelope and get you to share this a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you said, for example, you would charge, I mean, excuse me, you would pay your people about 20 bucks an hour. So in the Boston area, about on average, how much could you get away with charging per hour for a commercial building? Uh, so here's our thing. Our thing is, it was our, our whole thing is to pay, pay folks for cost of living, right? Right. And right. in Boston, it's probably, it's up there with New York, California, San Fran, as far as expensive living, right? Okay. So our thing is, and I'm sure we lose a lot of contracts this way, right? Okay. As far as we, we chart, we, like our target, our target market is our target market. Like okay. We have to have, like our profit is our profit. Like we don't, yeah. I don't need, we don't need eight, nine, well, I mean, we don't need a hundred clients. Mm -hmm. Our thing is the profit, right? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of companies that do seven figures, but yeah, but what's what's your take like what like what what's your profit if yeah. your profit is 10 15 18 percent and you know yeah. is it is it really good right our actual our, our average profit is probably um 40 or higher percent Damn. 48 okay. 40 yeah 45 percent and again i'm sure we lose a lot but the yeah. ones we get those those are the ones we go after so we're able to pay well um in our area but as far as the contracts it's really, I think, no state is different. It's just who are you going after? What's your, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, who are you going? Yeah. Are, you, are you going? And, and trust me, it's it takes time to get to that confidence and get to that point. Yeah. So, but for us, it's okay. It's eight, nine years in. We're not going after the 400 square foot corner stores because yeah. it's, it's not really our, you know, in, in our business model. We're going right. after the certain type of target market targets that are willing to, um, you know, pay that, you know, pay that, that price yeah. and also have other services for us too. Now, again, we'll do, you know, we'll, we'll bend on it. For example, say they were doing their, their cleaning, we're doing their snow removal and we're doing the landscaping. We mm -hmm. might take a little bit of short profit margin on the cleaning. Yes. You know, the snow is going to be 48% profit margins or right. something like that. So right. it's a matter of order floor because really your money's made on the extras, right? Yeah. On the floor, we'll, on the floor services, we'll get on the floor services, we'll get 50%, you know, the, the, the margin there is higher than a regular right. clean. So right. it's a matter of obviously knowing this industry and, and getting something that works for you. Now other yeah. companies might do like, might have like 50 clients and that works for them. And they'll, yeah. they'll, they're doing a great job with that. For us, yeah. it was, let's just keep it how we keep it. But our margins have to be our margins so we can pay people well. And plus for us, our business is, you know, where you know, I'm I like money. So yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm not doing this for fun. So yeah. um for us, you know, again, our for us is our business model and our strategy that yeah. just makes sense for us. Yeah, I love that. And I for a while I went through probably like a I say about a six month tear at one point where I just kind of summed up and I told people, you know what? Whatever you paying somebody else to do it, charge at least double that. And you yeah. should be hovering somewhere around about 50%. But then I had to stop because I realized, well, honestly, some of y'all ain't even worth that yet. Like, so that's the other thing, too. If you're going to target these particular type of contracts, you also better be ready to be able to back it up. You know what I mean? You got to be you got to you got to be up to par if you're going to charge yeah. that. But it is that's that right there is the best strategy. So I love the way that you run that model right there, because like yeah. I said, for that profit margin in particular. So no question. Sure. You're right. If you, you said that as far as if you're going like for you, like if you're a coach, like you being a coach. Yeah. If you're going any coach, if you're going to raise your prices from you were a thousand to now you at five, ten thousand. Yep. You can't have the same as exactly. you know, using the same stuff like you just all willy nilly. You'll get your email when you get it. You might come on some days. Have <laughs> right. It, it got to be on yep. point. So you got to hire the right team. Now I can hire the right team. To do the customer service, to do the extra phone calls, make sure the emails go out. Each client might get a weekly check-in, check-up to make sure everything is fine. Everything is fine. It's that extra services now that we can afford to make us look even better. Yeah, it's funny yeah. you say that too, because that's the, that's the hard lesson I learned over time. And I learned that you know what, business is business. 
I thought it was going to be easier because I'm doing this line of it. No, it's the same in my cleaning company. It ain't no difference. Business is business. You can have over here. All right. Now, I saw that you got your uh, your MBE certification. I believe it was what, minority. Uh, what is it? Minority? Minority business enterprise. Enterprise. There we go. All right. Back. And um, I just wanted to ask you, how has that benefited your company? Greatly. Um, okay. Okay. It's, 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 and again, I'm not sure each state is the same. Mm -hmm. but, but in our state, they're trying, at least they're trying, I've seen their, their purpose, they're trying to um, give minorities, give women, give veterans, what you want to, that, they, they're trying to um, bring us into the loop, Yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and it's, but again, you have to make yourself known, like that, you know, I'm this, and I will, and if you don't do this, because there still has some, you know, it's still work to do, so if, if so if you're not so if you're not on them, they'll slide in. They'll just do what they got to do to make the money, yeah. a lot of money. So for us, it's staying on their neck to let you know, yo, we, I see you. You right. should have twenty percent minority-owned businesses. I mean, a, a company you don't, and they'll they'll just you know. And again, I don't want to, I don't want to act like we're just like the um, causing trouble. <laughs> That's right. like, uh, right. pro-black, whatever, whatever. It's not how we right. do. But right. our thing is, just give us our due. Yeah, you, know, you can I hold them accountable. Yeah, if we weren't good, if we just sucked, then we just, then I get it. But right. we are, we are good, right? A good company. We yeah. want in, like we want in the room. Just get us in the room, yeah. right? So and again, if you don't bang on that door hard, they will not let you. You know, get in there. I don't care what. It's fine. I'm sure it's most states. I'm sure. If you look at the right. numbers, as far as um, who's making money and it's the same it's the same right yep. it's not it's really not us yeah, I don't care if you go to Atlanta Atlanta is better than us or yeah. Florida or DC is better than us but it's still nowhere equal right. to where it should be right right so for us it's just making our, you know ourself known and folks just folks call us it's crazy it's cra like you might get we got a um like I said our biggest contract was a million dollar contract it was a 12 month contract uh Twenty-eight thousand dollars a week, forty-nine mm. percent profit margin. Wow, right? crazy! That was a state <laughs> contract. That was a state contract. Okay, and that was on some yo. You gotta. This is a. You gotta hire. This is our community coming in. It was. Yeah. It was like. The, it was like the second hire. It was during the COVID. They were yeah. doing like the state statewide COVID test spots, mm -hmm. and they had a big uh, a bigger one. The biggest one at a community service. Excuse me, a community college in our area. Yeah. So we're like, yo, if you're gonna be in our area, most of the folks that's coming there is gonna be our people. You mm -hmm. better have, you know, say, hire our people, hire hire vendors that that fit the mark. Yeah. Just last week, I'm not sure you're you're, you're in Florida, Texas. Florida, right? I'm Florida, from Virginia. Right? I'm in Florida. Yep. You already know that Florida. That's correct. Yeah. So <laughs> it's the migrant, the yeah. migrant problem, right? Yeah. So in Boston, it's a problem now. So the sit, so the governor of our state, she's bringing, yep. so she's opening, um, uh, she's taking over community centers in our mm -hmm. our community, and placing them there for three, four, five months. Okay. Um. So obviously, part of the deal is since you're going to take over these these community centers, um, you got to bring, you got to hire companies from the community, right. basically, right? So for us, it's about you know we we're definitely big in politics as far as donations to our you know to our local politicians like our state your state reps your city councilors so when things like this come up you know come in play yes you know already gave them whatever you know some you know it's about you 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 know you helping them they'll help you out so now we're the probably the only cleaning company that's on that list we you know we yeah. submitted a bid a few days ago we should start hopefully next you know by next week as far as you know seven day a week contract 14 hour days shifts so it's a it's a big deal but uh, again okay. if we weren't if we wasn't in in the mix you wouldn't know you, know, you won't know what, what's going on probably in every state you know in texas florida whatever it is this stuff is going on yeah. so while we're fighting for you know i don't want to say crumbs because those crumbs matter you know it yeah. gets to build the cake you know gotta you know gotta right. eat so but you should be like your out your outcome your goal should be getting to you know kind of progressing in this business whereas yeah. you know your first goal is probably six figures and then, then next whatever it is but 
again, it's a lot of, lot of, as you know, a lot of money on here, out here. Oh, yeah. A lot of opportunity out here. We just got to stop being afraid to get in these, get in these rooms and make ourselves known. Oh, you know, we are good too. We're here. We want these kind of contracts too. Um, yeah. If we don't, they ain't going to come after you. Yeah. yeah. When you said that, you made me think of, because this was my first year getting into one of these rooms, which I went to the uh, BSCAI and ISSA event this year. I guess my I guess my first question is, do you go to those types of events? Oh, no question. Like, we're, again, I'm sure it might, might be a question or not. I'm not sure if it's a question. I can't remember if it was a question or not. But our first seven, our first million dollar year, mm -hmm. it was, it was no website. It was no yeah. business cards. It, we didn't even, like, it was no, it was strictly us networking. Getting wow. in these rooms. Like, our first, and now we do some other stuff as far as, you know seo and stuff like that but yeah our first 44 years mm -hmm. we, it was no it was no marketing except for getting in those rooms and were you like in those opportunities just subcontracting for bigger companies it was crazy that's part that's part of the change it's part of the okay. growth okay. right so you know part of the growth is we as men my brother and i we think we are the biggest thing since we, 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 we thought we thought this like right I ain't subbing nah we, they sell for us we don't yeah. they, we don't do something that's but beneath us and then we get in these rooms you'd be like yo there's a there's a 50 million dollar contract we'll yeah. give you all 20 percent of that oh word uh okay. right i would sub, <laughs> sub all day if right. <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> so it was us getting out of our own way and yeah. really learning this game and stop having our ego like cost us a lot of money. So yep. now we'll we'll sub like for example, I, I did a post about ABM, which is the biggest you know yep. whatever is ABM. Yeah, yeah they're ABM. they're they're in our state, right? They uh, they did that, so they have one of our largest colleges in here. In order to get that contract, I think twenty it was a twenty five million dollar contract, they had to sub out twenty percent to a minority or women owned business. Mm -hmm. So that business that they subbed out to, it was a young lady that, that we know. She's um, she's good. Spanish um, woman-owned company. They're doing $2 million a year from that con subbing with mm -hmm. ABM for that contract. That's so I, 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 I'm, a, I'm very, you know, I'm pro-sub. I'm pro-sub. Yeah. At okay. all levels. At the beginning level, sub to get that experience of reference. And mm -hmm. then at that bigger level, because it's... There's a lot of money out there. Gotcha. Now, this yeah. isn't a personal selfish question a little bit, but I think the audience will get something from this too. Because I got a cousin who's an attorney, right? And the idea that we came up after my last Clean Biz Network conference was maybe we should come out with a product called Clean Biz Lawyer because he owns a cleaning company, but he's also an attorney. And so we were thinking, you know, because people might need an attorney that just specialize in what they do. But then I kind of, I can't lie, I was a little bit hesitant on like, how often is somebody really going to need an attorney, right? But you brought up something interesting here that I'm, I'm just curious to know. How important has your mom being a lawyer helped with you? Because you talked about, you know, being into the politics and activism. How important has that lawyer aspect helped you with those, you know, getting some of these government contracts? Contracts. Like you just yeah. said, it's a contract. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's a, and I get it. If the contract is $1,000 a month, you don't need to. It is what it is. Right. If you're looking at a million dollar contract, half a million dollar contract, and you got to hire all these subs, people and subs, and mm. they, they, each sub got to have a contract too. Each sub got to have one. You got to have. So if I was the, your cousin, I would just like, for me, it would be, it would be important because we don't think we, so we don't think we know until we, we know like even our yeah. first few years we had no bookkeeper until right. like yo we don't got the money that's just sitting in our account we don't know where it's go <laughs> right. taxes uncle sam so yeah. until you get to that point be like damn so if i had if i had that idea i'm just doing like i'm focusing on this con this contracts yeah Maybe he already has them pre-made whatever it may be but we talked to a lawyer probably once a quarter just to make just to have our you know businesses structured right stuff like that but okay. so, but for my mom's, it's been it's been well because again, her con her contacts who she knows, mm -hmm. and then two, you like it's hard, like again, she can go over these contracts with us because okay. some of these contracts be like 20, 20 something, thirty pages of contract. It, it'd be like it'd be like the corporations, their their lawyer, and right. it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like the you know the the HR of the business. 
it's their legal team. Right. right. So their legal right. team versus us. And we like, what the hell we do with this? <laughs> right. right. But it's like, yo, mom, look this over. Right. <laughs> Read right. this over. So they ain't getting us, right? So no, okay. having having a lawyer is right behind a bookkeeper was for or an accountant as far as for me. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Now I read in the notes too before I was as I was preparing for this interview. It was two things you said that really drove you to get into uh coaching because you do coaching and consulting now, I believe, mm -hmm. right? And so the two I think the first thing was the fact that people were basically hopping in your inbox and asking because you mentor them. That's that's pretty much what drove me to it. I'm but then the other you <laughs> right. Then the other thing that you said uh was you had a coach as well. So you you hired a coach and then that coach advised you to get into it as well. So I guess. The question I want to ask you, because I get this myself sometimes, but I didn't get it in this particular way. I'm going to ask you in this particular way for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, they at, at a million dollars in revenue, why, oh, excuse me, at a million plus in revenue, why would you hire a coach? Well, great question. So the initial coach we got, actually, because I am in David Shan, so I, 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 my first coach that we paid for was Donnie Wiggins. I don't know if you've heard of people. Probably okay, heard yeah, of her. so both of them, they like partners on the uh, social Yeah, it was, it was Donnie Wiggins, right? I got, and I, I, so I got her through David, but mm -hmm. her, like she wasn't a coach. She wasn't like a online coaching coach. Gotcha. She was a business coach. So we had made this, our first seven figures with no structure, no mm -hmm. SOPs, no processes, no systems, mm -hmm. right? The following year, it went down to half of that because right. we just, we had this, you know, there was no system to it. So we hired her to create a business structure for us, like the systems mm -hmm. in place, the SOPs and processes. So in in that, we had to, so the coach for her was like a, it was like businesses that made, I think a quarter million or more. So mm -hmm. it was like eight of us in that program. We were in Mexico, one of her masterminds. Mm -hmm. And I really got the idea of starting to coach from the other um, business owners. because. Right. Half for like coaching, half for like offline business, you know, business. Level. Right. And right. again, at that time, I might have posted six times a year on IG. Yeah. I might YouTube just for just to watch. And they show me like, they'll just do something right now to post. And she would, and Donnie was like, Kendall, you really should, you know, just kind of just, you know, get into that because you know this. Um, yeah. um, again, the, their thing is they don't like coaches. I'm sure you too. You hear, Who've been in the game for six months doing doing what they do. Right. And now they made and all and of a sudden you're coaching. Coach. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what right. she was like, you know, you, you've been in it for your brother, you've been in it for a while. You know the ups and downs, you made seven figures, then lost yeah. it, then got it again. Yep. You should, you know, think about it. So for me, I'm still like, nah, I don't I am not cold. I can't. I'm cold. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just post, I'm gonna just post just tips yeah. every day. For yeah. six months straight. That was my goal. Six yeah. months straight, I'm just post something every day, how to something, how to do this, the five right. best ways to do this, right? So as I'm doing that, as you know, folks are in the DM. They're gonna right? ask, yeah. <laughs> and I have no coaching, even to it, it, right now I say I'm a coach, but I have no nothing to sell. Like right. I don't have <laughs> I don't have the program, right? So okay. for me, it's a matter, it was a matter of I've been been giving free game. Mm -hmm. For the last probably year and a half, yeah. now what, what it is now is because, um, folk, you know, folks want a lot. They want they want you to. They'll call you at if you're at 11 a.m. eating dinner. Yo, I yep. they, they, yo, they'll call you. So I turn up. So for me, it was my first thing was it was this guy from Texas cleaning company, and he was like, um, I just put down a thousand dollars. For this ten thousand dollar coaching program for cleaning mm -hmm. for cleaning business, and he was like, "But I don't even like to do. Yeah, I I, I mess with you from watching mm -hmm. you on, on online." And I'm like, "You want to pay to do ten thousand? Like, <laughs> right. I don't. Damn. I, so I'm right. so I go Google who, who the other person was. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, dude, been doing this for a while. He's pretty good, but he yeah. couldn't really like you said. Some people don't like." Some people aren't going to deal with me because maybe because I'm from Boston. Maybe I'm lighter skin. Some folks yeah. won't deal with AJ because he got braids. You yep. can't, you can't, or, you know, they want a female coach. Yep. So I can't, for me, it's who messes with me. That's who I help anybody, but my market is my market. So, you know, so yeah, I was like, okay, I had no, I, I had no plan, no coaching plan. Like, you know what? Just give me, give me a thousand. 
and I'll yeah. do a one on one with you every day for the next six months. Right. <laughs> right. That was my first. Right. <laughs> my first day, right? Give me a thousand. Because it feel pay, like hell. Like, I mean, they're just talking, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, Initially, that's how it exactly. feels. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It was just culture, right? So, from just doing, just being consistent, you know, like what you do, yeah. I give you props because Thank you. being consistent for as long as you've been, yeah, that is the game changer. Like right. folks think it's the other stuff, right? It's, it's the <laughs> consistency, it's the yeah. compound effect, it's little, it's yep. little growth. It ain't no, it ain't big jumps, right? It's you. doing this YouTube for ten years, yep, consistently, right? It ain't you ain't gonna go from zero to a million thing in over. That's what it is. Literally, most people don't make it because of that. Yeah, what we do is not rocket. We, we're not we're not computer scientists inventing right. computer chips. Right, so, which is not so. We, so it. our work is not that hard. It's the yeah. other stuff that folks can't. It's the suck. It's yeah. the years. <laughs> it's the years that that money yeah. ain't coming in. It's the year yeah. where we lost. We had what maybe five, six clients and lost two of them in the same year. So yeah. now, our, our, so it's that. Can you can you give? I remember one time I did. I, you know, you get a little bit of money some years ago. I bought my dream car, I buy it. S five hundred uh Benz. Right? Okay. I was I was like that credit, I got, got some money, fixed my credit, right. was, I was looking good. S five I didn't go and looking for that. They got me. They they, they got me on that. <laughs> I was for a practical car. He right. shows me the S five hundred. You I know hit the button on that. Hold up. I got I, I'm like, come yeah, on, don't do this for me. I gotta, <laughs> now I gotta get that, right? Yeah. The following year, I'm doing Uber and my S five hundred. Damn. Because we didn't know about the ups and downs in business. Yeah. We didn't know about budgeting like that. We just thought yeah. these checks are gonna come in every month and know who who would who would quit on us, who would who would fire us. We didn't know about this stuff until you know what I'm saying some time. So yeah. uh, um back to the question as far as um the coaching thing, it's a matter of for us, it was um well not for us, for me, it was a matter of again, me getting over my ego. And mm -hmm. knowing that, because for years I'm thinking I'm I'm it. I don't need no coach. I right. know this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And you realize the coaches, and then you hire a coach. Be like, damn, they do no more. They do no more than me, and they'll get me where I gotta get quicker. Right? Yeah. I'm sure everything you teach, right, or you charge for, folks can learn somewhere. Absolutely. But it might Most take of them it, yeah. years to get yeah. to that point where yep. hiring an AJ is gonna it's gonna just speed up the success rate. So for, for us, it was for me, it was that. I'm like, what she's teaching me, it ain't like some crazy, but it right. was like stuff I didn't know. And she was having us just learn this stuff at a quicker pace, yeah. to implement it at a quicker place, to get successful at a quicker pace. So so, so coach, I get I have one now too. I have a new coach for different parts of my business of, of where I am as a person. Mm -hmm. So I needed that coach, game changer. Um, I love coaches, right? <laughs> right. I spent forty thousand dollars last year on coaching, right? Probably more this year. Like coaching, it, it, coaching. I'm telling you, um, four years ago, I'm not hiring a coach because I'm thinking there's no way I'm getting up this twenty five thousand, which was our first coach calls. She was well worth it. Donnie was well worth it. That money, right? There's no way I'm giving her this money. I could go buy a piece of property down south. I can go buy some clothes. I can go buy a hundred pair of tens. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Something. I can go do something with not knowing this twenty five thousand dollars is gonna help me make. It's gonna help me make a hundred thousand dollars the following exactly. year. That's what. Exactly. You know, so I'm. So again, it's about growth. It's about mind change, mindset. If I had to, if you tell me, yo, you can only coach one thing. Mm -hmm. It would be, and it sounds. Folks don't want to hear it, but it's yeah. mindset. I'm telling you, that is really <laughs> it. But it's like it's I know that 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 doesn't that doesn't sound like that's gonna make me money today. I don't want. I don't care about that. Really, that's the biggest part. That's it's not sexy. Part. Yeah, it's not sexy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, look, and you said something else too. You got you said a couple things I want to touch on real quick. Yeah. Man. You said uh, the first thing I'm I'm gonna point at this one, twenty five grand for a coach, right? And a lot of people will hear that and be like, "What the hell? No, nah, ain't nothing worth no twenty five grand." What the? But the thing is, when you the more a person is able to charge for something, the more time and value they can put into it. Mm -hmm. And I try to tell that I, I watched this uh, 
podcast a long time ago. Gary V had Marie Folio on, and a caller called in, and she was a fan of both of them, whatever. Gary V said, Hold up, let's do something. Who helped you the most between us two? He was talking about between him and his guest, Marie Folio, right? Marie Folio sells courses and all of this. Everybody know Gary V don't. The caller said, I'm sorry, Gary, but it was Marie. And I listened to that and learned it because this when I was at a crossroads on if I really wanted to be that course selling coaching guy that really didn't want to do it. I was always against it for a long time. But then it, that's when it hit me. I said, you know why she chose her? Because she's charging for this program that allows her to put way more time and value into ensuring that she's helping her the best way. See, if you just watching videos on YouTube all day long and that's all you get, it's, it's impossible to completely over deliver. And, and two, that's why I was able to help the amount of people that I've helped over these years is because I made a business out of it. And if I make a business out of it, now I'm getting compensated properly. Now, all right, well, now I can give you my all versus, you know, when I was running my cleaning company full time, this was just my little side thing. It's like, look, this is what you do. This is what you do. This is what you do. All right, go do it. You know what I mean? But it ain't really quite the same as me slowing down, holding your hand, walking you through, putting a curriculum together. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a whole lot that goes into it. So that was something I wanted to point out. I love that you said that. It was something else you said too. But oh, bam. So the other thing you said was, um, I forgot exactly how you worded it, but basically you got the point that I eventually got too, which was, uh, what's for me is for me. You know, like five years ago, I probably wouldn't have had you on because you you in the coaching space in the same niche as I'm in, right? Mm -hmm. Five years ago, I wouldn't have been networking with everybody in the space. But then after a while, I realized, you know what, you're right. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, some people are just not going to buy from me because it may, maybe because of the breeze, maybe because of the list, maybe because I cuss too much, right? It could be because of any little thing, right? Yeah. And so that's what I was like, you know what? Well, I'll tell you what, the goal was to help people anyway. So how about I just bring everybody on? You know what I mean? I've, apparently, I'm the gatekeeper right now. So Fuck it. I'm going to do this shit legendary before I go then because I, I feel like my time is coming. But anyway, when I said, well, I'm just going, hey, whoever can get get what you can get and let's all just work together. Because, you know I mean, we're going to see. Everybody always say we can do it. Together, we stronger. If everybody come together, well, I'm about to test it out. Let's just see what happens if we all come together. But anyway, you, you said so much and I just wanted to pick it back on those. I got more. Matter of fact, so this was a question too since we're here. Cause I had, I was saving this for later, but uh, you answered it too. I was gonna ask you what type of coach was it, but you basically told me it was a business coach. Because I initially was wondering, I was like, well, I wonder why he hired, uh, you know, Shans or whoever you might have hired instead of just hiring me. Cause I'm already in this space and I'm pretty good at it, right? So why ain't just hire me? And I and I wanted to see what your answer was, but the reason why now I hear it is because that's not what you were looking for to begin with. You actually just I'll answer that too. I'll answer that real quick. Okay. Maybe help you out too. Help, help you out because my I have a coach now, a uh, different coach than than think because uh, than Donnie or Chance. Even though I'm still with Chance, okay. um, in his program, but his he, we had a, a class on Monday. Okay, his this thing was your messaging, messaging. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it right, right? And at the beginning, look again. I'm not going front. I told you it's a thing. Do the thing where when I first got on YouTube, our first four years wasn't no social media. Like I didn't, it, it was there, but I wasn't on it. I wasn't right. on YouTube. I just, just, we was just like freestyling it. Right. Now I, I think I found you and I found a few people, but you, I, I was, you related to me, right? Right. So I kind of like, you know, um, binge watch some of your videos. Okay. We're already doing like probably like 400,000 at a time. Yeah. Yep. So I'm watching you interview, but the message I got from you at that time, at that time okay. was you just helped like beginning or beginners to get mm. their first few figures or their first few clients. That was the messaging I I, I heard Got it. from you. Now yeah. now I see you you upgraded to I see yeah. messaging because not because again I watch people differently than just a fan. I watch yeah. to see who your target market is. Right. Really, who, what are you saying? Because we're in the same thing. At that yep. time, I thought, okay, I'm already making, I'm already doing some things. His 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 target market is that that new newbie newbie. Mm. That that first client or first maybe fifty thousand dollars in, in the right. business not really for me at that time. Right. Again, this God. is uh, four years ago, something like that, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, because that definitely was the message that first you right, and I updated. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that, yeah. <laughs> so I can know. And I got a team around me that told me that for years. Like, listen, you are qualified to speak to these other people that's making more than this, right? And mm. do not feel like you should. You need something for them because otherwise, look what's happened. Because like, we watched it happen. I help a lot of people get to these six-figure levels, and it's like, all right, AJ, thank you. 
I'm out. And then they go yeah. find the next coach and the next coach charging them 10, 20, whatever grand. 10, yeah. And it's like, damn, we could have kept that right here. Because the stuff they just told you, I could have told you how to do that. And I could have showed you how to do it for a cheaper price. But no. you know what I mean? But it's like, but you, they wouldn't know if I never communicated it. So I appreciate exactly. you. Like that, that, that was yeah. a problem. So yeah. I appreciate that. Listen, every single year I host the biggest celebration of the cleaning industry. And that's the Clean Biz Network Conference, y'all. And get ready. Get your tickets ASAP before time runs out. Go to www.cbnconference.com and meet me there. We're going to be in Las Vegas, y'all. Las Vegas at the JW Marriott Hotel. Get your tickets. You do not want to miss this event. Every single year it gets bigger and better. The dates are February 28th through March 1st, 2024. And this year, and we got a special guest hosting, y'all. This next conference that will be hosted by none other than Tenacity Academy, y'all. Tenacity Clean, y'all seen them on their YouTube channel, Mrs. Johnson, Miss Tamika. They're going to kill it. They're going to bring that energy. And not only them, we also got some amazing speakers lined up for y'all. I'm talking about Mr. Eric Coffey from GovCon Giants. If you are interested in government contracts, everybody knows Eric Coffey is the man. He is the GOAT of the government contract, y'all. So you definitely want to be there to hear from him. We got Raylan Dunlap from the Hustle Network. Check out our YouTube channel. Massive, all about just hustling and getting to this money, y'all. Shout out to the Cleaning Balls family. Meet DJ The Balls at the Clean Business Network Conference. We also got Mila, the host keeper, the queen of Airbnb cleaning, y'all. Miss Carolyn Arilano. Y'all already know that she killing it as well in the cleaning space. The legendary Debbie Sardone who has been the number one residential cleaning consultant for I don't know how long now. She's probably the best to ever do it in the residential cleaning space. Mr. Mario Kelly, who specializes in stadiums, y'all. If you ever wanted to know how to get those big contracts cleaning the sports stadiums and all of that, you do not want to miss this. Mario Kelly will be there. And we also have the king of client attraction, Mr. Mark Will Russell will be in the building. You do not want to miss the event. And we have so many other great speakers as well. Too many to name. Not to mention we're going to have breakout sessions. We're going to have special dinners served. It's going to be a black tie affair. We're going to give out awards. I'm telling you, it's going to be so big. Live DJs, you do not want to miss this event. Go to www.cbnconference.com. Get your tickets. Meet me there. Meet my wife. Meet my kids. We all going to be there. Let's get it, y'all.